the cam boys as if we are inviting them to our theoretical Thanksgiving dinner. Now, Thanksgiving dinner is a big deal because people have to bring things. They need to be, uh, you know, on their best behavior for a bit. They need to be punctual. Sometimes there's family there. You know, there's a lot of different factors here. So out of the camp, boys, we have first invite. That means you're coming over. I want you here. Maybe you have money and could uh, uh, buy a bunch of stuff for us. Then we have come over. That means, hey, you're, you're coming over for the dinner. No problem. If you want is is like that medium tier of like, yeah. And then us uh, when you start to lose me and then lost in the mail is when you're not getting invited. Sorry. Now we are being honest and these are all opinions that are for fun. Okay, nobody get mad. This is for jokes. Let's get it going though. And mind you, we will not do Oscar, right? Oscar is not in the Cowboys. We will not do Oscar's thing there. Wonderful. Great. All right. Moving on to the first one. We have Thomas. Thomas, to me, gets come over. Thomas is a good person to invite because he will bring a great meal. Um, he will bring something really thoughtful and it will taste good and he will be on time. So I'm going to put Thomas and come over. Um, I think that is fair. Next up, we have Andy, who I love to death. And I will preface this by saying I love Andy so much. If you want. <laughs> Andy's shrieking after three glasses of wine sometimes can can ear pierce the ears a little bit. After the 90th, no, no, my, no. it does start to affect your ears. So I will love Andy here, but if if you want, you can. If not, I don't have to. No. Every time that man gets a gifted sub, I love him. Okay, next up, we have Brian. Brian is first invite. He may be the best guest out of any camboy because he is so welcoming. He's prepared and he also brings unbelievable energy. And he'll talk to anybody. Like if you're just sitting there with your dad and it's just you two, Brian will talk to your dad for two hours. So Brian is someone that is necessary for an invite. Brian, not just because he's my roommate. I would have said this before at C4. He is the first invite. There are multiple first invites, technically, but he gets the first of them. Okay. Next, we have Christian. Christian sometimes can be a lot when he is in that kind of mood. But Christian, that man knows how to cook. And I love his cooking so much. So Christian will go above Andy. And if you want, because Christian, I had the best sweet potato pie or sweet potato casserole ever. Um from Christian, so that's fair there. I'm putting him if you want. That's a high version of that. What's up, Michelle? Now, next we have Crawford. Crawford is high up here. I'm gonna put Crawford above Thomas and come over. Crawford probably wouldn't bring anything, okay? Which is okay, because his presence is enough. And if you need somebody to play music, he is your guy. So Crawford isn't come over. He is a great guest. He's getting that invite. Come on over. Next up, we have Danny. We'll put Danny in. Uh. Um. I will. I would. Would I invite Danny? Yes. Eventually, Danny will get the invite. Would Will and Dill? Ha it might be one of those things where Dill's like, "Danny, come to Ryan's," and I'm like, "Dude, yeah." And, and that's honestly because Danny wouldn't want to come. And I understand that. I don't blame him. And correct. Probably would sleep through it. But it's not lost in the mail. Okay. Danny is, you know, if he wants to come. But then it's like, does the dress code, is he going to wear T.O.? Is he going to wear T.O.? If he wears T.O. to Thanksgiving, I might have to bump him down. No offense. But if we're all dressed up and there's a dress code happening. And I see this man with X's all over his body. We'll leave him in uh. Next up, we have David. Now, here's the problem with David. David will be late. And I love him to death, but David will be at least 30 minutes late, if not an hour late, which is tough. So we're going to put David in, if you want, in between the two of these guys. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'll put him below Andy because Andy will be on time. 
David is, is no notoriously late. He brings good vibes, though. But that's when he shows up. <clears throat> Next up, we have Devante. Devante, where do you think he's going? <coughs> Devante should be come over. But I'm going to put him in uh, and here's why. Oh, my... My, my aunt's coming over. I haven't seen her in forever, guys. I'm a little worried of Devante. I'm a little worried he couldn't hold it together after a couple drinks around around my family. Like, I feel like my, my aunt would be like, you know, something about any, anything, you know, your, your dad, blah, blah, blah. He'd be like, oh, does he eat ass? He'd be like, Devante, my aunt is 60-something years. Like, so you know what? He's, uh... Other than that, his energy is fantastic. I just don't... My, like, my aunt's a lovely woman. I couldn't put her through that. Next up, we have Dill. Dill is going in the first invite pile. He is He's in my first invite pile because, number one, Dill is, is so happy. He will smoke with me. He will. We will talk about sports together. He will stay. He will drink. He will do whatever. So I'm putting Dill in first invite. Because he appreciates the invite as well. Dill really appreciates an invite. You feel like he really wants to go. So Dill is getting... Let's say we get five first invites. He's getting that one. Next up we have Harrison. Who I haven't seen in forever. And I'm putting him very high up and come over. Because I would like to see him soon. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. So it's hard to go off of that. But this man is a literal chef. I will take points off because I haven't seen him in years and it makes me sad, but he is number one in come over whenever he can come over <laughs> because Harrison is a great human being, great to drink with, great, and he's an unbelievable chef, so we'll put him up there. Next up, who is going to get the first person to get lost in the mail? Will anybody? Let's see. We'll find out. So far, we don't need it. Next up, we have Jake. Now, Jake, to me is a little bit of a wild card. Yes, champ, I agree. I think I might put Jake in if you want. Because once again, Jake is awesome. But if my aunt is there, you know, she may think he is the devil. God bless her. She's a sweet woman. But I do believe Jake would, you know, scare her a little bit. Like I said, I'm acting like my family's coming by, you know. Um... But Jake is good energy, and also Jake will just show up with like, uh, like probably eight items. Like Jake will over show up. Like he'll just bring like every soda, and you'd be like, "Damn, Jake, thank you so much, bro." Like, I appreciate that. So Jake can come over if he wants. Next, we have JC. JC is not technically first invite because he's someone that probably wouldn't bring something. He would like forget, and then he would also probably be late. Um, but he's at, he, I think he's in a very high up version of come over. I'll put him above, be, in the middle of Harrison and Crawford because he can't cook like, uh, Harrison. Um, but he is rich and he could bring stuff and I don't think Crawford would bring anything either. So I'm going to put him right there in the middle of come over. Kirsten. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kirsten for the eight month. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Kevin. Kevin Lang, everybody. What do we think about Kevin? Kevin is in the first invite. You absolutely need Kevin at any get-together because anytime you need an announcement, you need to announce dinner's ready, you need anything, you need literally anything, Kevin will do it immediately. And he is a vital piece to our get-togethers, honestly. <laughs> like, so Kevin, you need... Kevin because he is a loud personality who's confident, who's funny and he can pick up the energy when it's going down so Kevin gets first invite for that next up we have Kian I will preface this by saying Kian is probably one of my closest friends um, it just depends on what kind of mood Kian is in, if it is a great Kian mood it's he's going and come over if it's not a great Kian mood and he wants to play Fortnite it's a if you want, okay? 
so it really depends but in his out of respect to him i'm gonna put him below crawford in if uh, in come over because kian is very funny and he is good to be around but once again if he is not feeling it like me he probably won't want to be there and i don't blame him next we have reggie next is reggie we're getting some first invite wow first invite for reggie's i will put reggie hmm i'll put reggie above actually i'll put him right here in, in the middle of crawford and jc because he's still a wild card once again if my aunt's there and he makes a joke about the you know constructing a bomb or something I would have to talk to my aunt and say that that's just Reggie. That's Reggie. He just does that. Right? So I will take that. I'm going to deduct a little bit of points over the possible threatening of my aunt with, with her not getting his humor. So I'm going to put him in come over. Next up, we have me. I'm not going to even put myself anywhere because it's my party. I am the leader. I am the first invite. I created this party. Thank you very much. Next, we have Savage. Savage. What do we think for Savage? Savage gets a first invite. He does. Savage will... You could throw the party at 2 p.m., 3 a.m. You could throw it in Arizona. You could throw it in Temecula. You could throw it in Miami. Savage will be there somehow. He will be drinking. He will give you the energy. He'll stand on whatever table is there. Um, he will provide you with bottle girl type of energy for eight hours and if he's not there it feels boring so i will say there is all these parts are necessary like you have brian the complimenter the conversation starter you have dill who's who will chill and do whatever you have kevin who is takes order and you have savage who is like you know the bottle girl you know what i'm saying like the just the life of the party type thing bottle girls maybe not the best comparison i do apologize for that um and then last year we this picture didn't do him very justice. We have Will. Um, Will is actually uh, right next to Dill in first invite because Will is very similar to Dill. I could talk to Will for like maybe ten hours straight if I wanted to. Will will do whatever you ask, whenever he will, you know, whatever he'll just do whatever. It doesn't really matter, which is great. You need you need the chill people around to. S to to go smoke with you and settle down some energy there's a little bit of loud personalities right so this is like the offsetting tier list what do we think on this one this is uh if you came in late on this one this is would we invite cam boys to our thanksgiving dinner with our family here okay first invite brian dill will kevin and savage they're coming immediately come on over harrison jc reggie crawford Kian and Thomas. If you want, we have Christian, Andy, Jake, and David. And then we have uh Devante and Danny. Devante would be high up, but he's a wild card. Danny would sleep through it or else. I agree. Also, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Jake up to come over because Jake really doesn't do anything wrong and will bring a lot of stuff and is is a joy. And Andy, I will say, we'll put him above Christian, but the you know, he knows. When you give Andy a lot of sugar or caffeine, my boy, you know, he's really, he really knows. Oh my goodness. 